I'm Laura Gilmartin. I'm at the Sacred Threads 2015 in Herndon, Virginia. And I'm here to talk about my quilt, Nokomis. I actually, my family calls it the Indian woman quilt because for a while she wasn't named. I had visited friends in Albuquerque and met this Indian artist that just fascinated me. He, he does very uh, modern and sometimes just old watercolors and stuff. And I saw this card that had a, a painting, pretty much like this, although the face turned out differently because I believe I channeled my mom with this. <laughs> she had, um, I bought the card probably two years before I lost both of my parents. And it just compelled, I don't know what it was about that card, but I would look at it and think I would love to make a quilt from this card, just something about it drew me. And when they passed, I was the executor of their estate. So it was like I didn't have time to really grieve because I needed to sell the house, do everything, to disperse the funds and that sort of thing. So when I, about halfway through, I guess it hit me what it was that I was doing. And I saw this card again and I thought, I'm just going to try it. I'd never done really that many art quilts and definitely not people. So I started, it probably, the longest part was just finding the right fabrics <laughs> and trying to figure out how to paint the face to get all the structures in. So I, I worked on it in probably three months once I had the fabrics put together to paint and I made all these little eyeballs because they're appliqued on and kind of creeped people out. I'm like, which one do you like, this one or this one? <laughs> and we chose and towards the end, I think in the eyes, it, it, his eyes and his portrait weren't quite the same, but my mom had huge brown eyes and I think that's what drew me to this entire quilt. So when I went back out to New Mexico, I took it to the artist and asked him, what is the name of your photo? Because the card didn't have any name to it. And he said, well, in my mind, I just thought Nokomis, which means grandmother. And I thought, perfect. My mom was a wonderful mother. She was a loving grandmother. So I named the quilt Nokomis, although I call the Indian woman all the time. <laughs> Now what happened while I was doing this, I had never painted on fabric or used inks and I wanted to add depth to her dress to give it textures. And unfortunately, on the back, if you'll see, it's like this pale thread or this pale color. And I wanted to leave it all that, but the ink bled through. So I'm like, oh, what am I going to do now? Because <laughs> I mean, it looked horrible. So. What ended up happening was I painted a paler version of her on the back. And it kind of just came together that this was meant to be, because in my mind, it was passing talents, uh, history, whatever, down to the generations. So it's kind of the one behind is her grandmother. And now she's passing her talents and her love on to the next generation. So I found in my learning a lot of these accidents that happened really improved the quilt. So I hope everyone enjoys it and finds peace in looking at her. Thank you.